<laughs> Magic. Special occasion. Put a hole in the new house. Yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to. No. <laughs> and our beautiful, what is it, champagne glasses? Today, go get some coffee, then into the cleaning. Tell you what, not a bad drive, eh? To come in and out of, absolutely beautiful. Sweet home. Perfect. Like this. This one. And like this. That is actual magic color. <laughs> <laughs> you make it look easy. Yeah. How good is that? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. There we go. Job done. Bloody paradise. <laughs> you. She's pretty empty. Just hitting the ceilings. Absolutely massive job. Give her a scrub, give her a clean and then uh, painting these bloody walls. Whew. Lots of work to be done here. Lots of work. But all exciting. Vanuatu, eh? Living the dream. All right, we're back at it today. Let's get the incense going. Get stuck into it. We got a bit to do today. New Samsung fridge, and all its glory. It's pretty exciting. Not every day you get a new fridge. All above these kitchens. Got to jump up there, there's probably a heap of spiders which I'm terrified of. Cat's flat out here, finishing off all the walls. Hitting the parts that I didn't do properly. So a bit more hard graft tonight. And then uh, I reckon paint next week if we can get a painter around here. <laughs> She's got her goodies. Thanks, Madeline. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks for scaring me. <laughs> Have a good day. So coal trucks arrive now. Dump a big load of coral down there. Let's go take a look at that. What do we call this again? Carl. Oh, she's on the job. Rebecca's helping Dad. 
Look at that. I think we're going to need more. Yeah. Look at this. Lots of, lots of hard yakka. Trust our wheelbarrow too. <laughs> so we're just going through. All these windows rip them all out. Replace all the fly screen. And then, uh, yeah, good, good detail, good clean. Ripping off all the fly screens. They are blocked. Look at that. That's some pretty old gear right there. We'll spray it up. These fly screens, see how they last. Job done. See how that dries tomorrow. All right, let's get this uh, cut up. The gasket and stuff. All right, let's measure this up. Get it in. There we go, finished uh, project one of them. So many more to go, but mate, I'll tell you what, no bugs are getting into us. Two week update, beard's out of control. Hair's, haven't found a good hairdress, haven't had time. But yeah, I'm gonna get these fly screen back in today. And uh, that's two weeks of Vanuatu, been pretty busy. Hope to get out there and, and see a bit more than just this house. But uh, pretty exciting times here. Yeah. This one's gone. Yep. The boys ripped it out. No good. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. So you just slide it in. Just... So the boys are ripping off all the all the security lights out here. Good fun. So hopefully all our wiring's all safe and earthed out as we hear that sometimes it's not earthed out here which is not the ideal let's go in the manhole <laughs> she's warm though yes oh and there's the exhaust fan right dad won't come over he reckons he's retired <laughs> <laughs> the electrician he says yeah right retired not one spider up here one, one. have a look at this <laughs> how you going love <laughs> all right let's have a little look up here with her The house of pain will soon be the house of joy. Are we on track or what do you reckon? Um, I like time. Wait some more, wait some more. 10 days left of the build this time and then uh, back home. Geez, we haven't even started painting and filling holes yet. So yeah, lots, lots to go. All the cabinets are off. We're gonna uh, cut into them, put some like sort of uh, plastic because everything kind of molds here in Vanuatu. We'll chuck that on. A bit of fly screen. Let's it sort of breathe when we're away. Whew. Oh yeah. Let's go. So we've got our wood door here. We're gonna cut a little 12 mil drill hole and then start routing the edges all around here. Cut these out, replace them so all the cabinets can breathe. cut out. We'll fill that one out when we get some product. Give him a bit of a sand, but paint him all white. Gonna come up an absolute treat. And we'll let some air go through. Fly screen on the back. Should be good. Here we go, late night missions. Cat's taping up for a bit of paint jobs. We got John flat out in here. We're painting all this. All white in here. 
Look at this. All in the cabinets here. First coat. Ceiling done. So these are the old waiting for death chairs. We like to ponder out into the, uh, oh, the tonight, the dark night, or the early mornings with a cuppa. Tough week ahead, painting, painting, painting. Sparkies have done their work, we're stoked about. Plumbers this week, new toilet coming, um, septic tank gonna have to go in. It's not cheap, but uh, gotta be done. What else we got? Curtains all coming off, trying to source curtains here is bloody a mission. Uh, probably gonna do the old shipping container. Seems like the, the best way to get good product for a decent, decent price. Buying locally is not great quality, sadly. So we got Clint here and Dave, the boys are gonna be chucking in the new toilet, which is magical, because this one does not flush and uh, yeah, not, not good after morning coffee. Job done, kicked off, another one. What do you reckon? Catherine? Mm -hmm. Happy? Yep. Come back, come back, chat to the camera. <gasps> Cindy Corking is in. So we've neaten it up a bit. Got to make all these seams a little bit nicer. Painting all these ones up here. Yes, we look nice. Whoa! But this door we've got to hang later on. Replace the old hot water system. That's an extra job. New fly screens on here. All these ones are good. Cats clean them. Put some fish oil and lanolin. Lanolin. Hard to say that word. Lanolin. Today we are midweek, Wednesday. Um, weather's a bit ordinary here. The boys are doing well with the fire pit. It's come along well. We've got two layers, so seating should be done by tomorrow, I think, or Friday, they said. Carlo's building the, uh, what are we calling this? The fire pit. Yeah. <laughs> the fire pit. Good morning, here we go, we're building the fire pit today. Simon and Carlo, all over it. Look at that, it's gonna be an absolute beauty. Here we've got 10 more days left. It's going flying by. Cat's busy looking at parts to order for the house, just trying to figure out how it's all gonna work. Yeah, so looking at this company that do Crimsafe, one of the only companies, I think, in Vanuatu or Port Villa anyway. But they're a pain in the ass, let me tell you, trying to get hold of them. Um, I think their work's good, it looks good. But we're gonna have some crimp safe on the front and then right at our main entrance, should look nice. Um, probably extend and cut into the house a bit. We've had uh, the Sparkies come in, put up the fan, new lighting, insulation ripped out. But yeah, looking, looking forward to having a shave and getting a haircut when I get home off my sister. This is just out of control. Definitely got too used to this island life. Um, but amazing help from contractors and heaps of mates here. Did you build this, Rebecca? <laughs> <laughs> the fire pit down there, I reckon that is going to be a little touch of brilliance. So, can't claim that one, that's Kat's idea. but. I reckon that's going to be uh, pretty, pretty neat when we've got family and friends having a few beers and barbecue there.
one septic tank and insulating the roof. That is going to be key because this, this joint's an absolute oven. So, all right, back at it. I can hear Cat call on my name already. Where is that bastard? <laughs> all right, so Cat's going up into the attic, into the ceiling space to do the insulation. Is it a bit hard? Well, someone's got to do it. Someone doesn't like attics, apparently. <laughs> the cat's trying to fill all these gaps here. That we've got in the roof, as you can see, when we turn the lights off. Not real great in spaces like this, a bit scared of bugs. Big tough man. Where cat's in is the, the tin, the corrugated tin. That's our roof, so we're just trying to seal that. You can see like a little bit there where it's come through, so we're just going to try avoid that. Great job. Tell you what, this thing's worth its weight in gold. What do you mean me? Don't you mean me? You're worth your weight in gold, you reckon? Okay. Kat, you're our dime. You owe me. Glass of red? Too early? It's <laughs> wet, Jeffrey. Poor bloody thing, you. Yeah. We use a look for that. So it's been a tough day here today. Um, lots of heart. <laughs> oh, Catherine. Yeah, it didn't wash up there. That was not washing. That is my sweat. I'm glad Cat's up here actually, because my fat ass would have fell through the drip rock now. No, it's not. That's, are you saying that's the reason why? Maybe. Surprised that you've been sticking your head up here. You're on to me. I don't venture too far in. Good work, love. Love you. Love you and leave you. Bloody beautiful. <laughs> Week four, I think. We're, uh, we've got the aircon guys here. We've got the Sparkies here doing fans. She's all go, we've even got easy kill coming. I hope to get rid of the bloody geckos around here because they're terrible bastards. We've got about three more weeks on the property, trying to sort it all out. House is all painted, John did an absolutely fantastic job. Um, some hard work and late nights, dropped him off at 10 o'clock at night, so that was uh, that was definitely fun on these rocky roads. But yeah, feeling pretty good about where we're at with, with the house, you know. It was already a lovely house, just needs a bit of work, bit of TLC. Good final coffee as we leave here early in the morning. Early morning flight, pretty tired. Get this coffee into us. Have a look at this joint. You've done well, I reckon. Bags are packed. Ready to go. Get on that big bird. Back to Oz. Well, that's it. Six weeks. Beautiful Vanuatu, place we call home now. Oh, I'm gonna miss this little spot. Cat's just having a last little cuppa. Rock pool. Lookout. Had a great time. Bit of stress, trying to get it all done. But uh, we're just excited to get stuck into this place. So anyway, off on the big bird to Perth. And uh, yeah, see what we get up to next time. Beautiful.